So I'm here with Ryan Lowfield, now the assistant coach for Lower Columbia Baseball. Used to be the one of the first the first baseman and uh, DH a lot of times. But Ryan, right off the bat, you know, here you are, your your assistant coach now. How is it different being on the field that really you played at, but now all of a sudden you're you're, you're not on the field. You're, you're more yelling at the guys and getting them motivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot more behind the scenes when you're a player. You're just kind of worrying about your yourself and your role and your responsibility to help the team win. Um, now it's a lot more. Kind of every pitch changes everything. Got to worry about uh, where guys are, what they're thinking going into the pitch to be successful, positioning, what pitches come in, all kinds of things. So there's a lot more into it um, as a coach. But uh, some I'm still getting the hang of, but it's fun as well. I enjoy it. So after LCC, you did go off and play uh, some additional baseball. Mm -hmm. What was your experience like, you know, playing at a, at a four-year school and mm -hmm. even on the East Coast? Uh, it was a really good experience. Um, a lot of different styles of baseball over there. A lot of good competition. Uh, I learned a ton. I played for some very, very good coaches who I uh, still talk with and uh, who I learned a lot from. I never really uh, thought about getting into coaching or anything until I. Um, played in college and built good relationships with my coaches, learned more about the game and kind of what goes along with it. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I um, discovered my love and wanting to continue to stay in the game and start coaching. So I learned a lot over there. Awesome. So what, of all your time you know, playing at the four-year school, what was your uh, favorite experience that you had? My favorite experience? Well, early in the season in, what year was that, 2016 it would have been, we beat Virginia in a series at their place, and then later in the season, we went back there, played in the regional, and won that, dogpiled on the field, so that was awesome. So then we got to play in a super regional at Texas Tech, which was a really special moment. So those are some really fun memories. Yeah, I think if I remember right, I actually got to see you uh, bat on ESPN one yeah. time, just for fun. So kind of cool to, to see someone from LCC doing that. You know, we got mm -hmm. to see uh, even Seaver Whalen last year playing yeah. in the uh, uh, World Series for NAIA. Mm -hmm. So um, do you still kind of keep track of the other guys you've played with, seeing what they're doing? Yeah, absolutely. I look at their websites. I shoot them a text here and there, say, hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, so we, not much of us who are still playing uh, with my ear, just guys behind me that are kind of getting their feet wet at the Division One level. But, yeah, it's kind of, you build really, really strong relationships at this level especially because you kind of go through the dirty work. It's not all lights and airplanes and stuff like that. That is uh, the next level after this. So kind of the relationships you build at this level are kind of what, what drives you and you feel that uh, the people, other people around you feel the same way. So you kind of get really close with everyone. You talk about, you know, playing for, at the four-year school, kind of got that passion to want to stay in the game and coach. Mm -hmm. What has been the, uh, the biggest thing you've discovered as a coach, think something you've had to really kind of change your mindset about from being a player to now? Mm -hmm. Being a player to now, biggest change in mindset. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. Not a lot. Not a whole lot changes. I don't think. Because um, as you kind of as I stayed in the game longer, uh, my freshman year, sophomore year, my year at ECU, um, I learned more. But you kind of start to view the game as a coaching uh, aspect as you continue to play. Um, so I don't know. No, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. So, you know, here, you know, you went to Mark Morris, yep. played LCC, now you're back coaching LCC. Mm -hmm. What has it been like to be here in your hometown, really um, taking on different levels of baseball and even mm -hmm. now passing on that knowledge to the guys? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's great. I've been really close with LCC baseball since I was probably 10 years old when I was doing a bunch of lessons with uh, Rob Hippie and coming out on the weekends watching LCC play, so... To kind of be able to uh, be a part of it again is really awesome because LCC has always been special to me. You no, know, so you know, once again, this is your first year coaching. So, mm -hmm. what is your your goal for this? Or what is the thing you want to accomplish the most? Um, not only as a team, but as a as a coach. Uh, I want to give uh, players the knowledge that I've uh, gained through playing this game. Uh, I want them to be motivated us to be a close tight-knit group uh wants to win and uh yeah build off the relationships play for each other uh win another mx title that's the goal
Awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you very much. Absolutely.